Yo, I just want to talk a little bit about a system that gets a bit of a bad rap among gamers, and that's the PSP Go. This came out only in white and black. It wasn't extremely successful. Some reasons for that are it has a very sm small screen. Uh, it's smaller than the PSP. It doesn't play UMDs. Uh, it's more expensive than the PSP. And the controls are not that great. They're a little bit difficult to use, especially if you are an adult, which I like to think that I am. Um, <clears throat> but there are some good things about this. Besides the fact that I got it used and fairly cheap, the reason why I bought it, um, or the reasons why, the screen is smaller, but it looks really nice. Also, this has 16 gigabytes of internal memory, so if you don't have a memory stick, that's all right, or you can use the memory stick as well. And um, the, the main reason actually why I got this, and the thing that made me reconsider, because I wasn't planning on buying it, I thought it was inferior to the PSP standard, was the fact that you can use a PlayStation 3 wireless controller for all of the games. So, <coughs> um, and right, even though the PS Vita is out, right, and it's doing all right, I guess, this can do a lot of things that the Vita still cannot do, at the time of this video at least. One of those is play PS1 games. Um, <laughs> I just think that's dumb. Uh, that the, the PS1 games can't be played on the Vita yet, but they can on this. So, I'll just show you really quickly some gameplay of a PlayStation game using the PS3 controller. Another thing about this, right, besides the minis and the downloadable PSP games and the PS1 games, you know, the fact that it can play those and you can use the controller, you can take this to your friend's house or if you go to somewhere, like a hotel or whatever, and if you get the cable that plugs it into a TV, it's like having a tiny little portable PlayStation because you're still playing with this and you've got the internal hard drive to save your game saves. So that's a lot of reasons why this is... Mm, a console that was kind of redeemed in my eyes. And I know a lot of people actually didn't, didn't realize or don't realize or haven't realized yet that this machine can be used with the PS3 controller. As of now, the Vita can't use an external controller. The Vita can't plug into a TV. The Vita can't play PS1 games. So as much as I love the Vita, there are some good things to be said about this machine as well. And I just, like I said, I feel like it gets a bad rap. There are some kind of not-so-awesome things about it, but, you know, especially the controlling, the controls. But the size factor is also great. It's pretty much exactly the same size as an iPhone. And this is <laughs> Cho Aniki. It's a long, quiet loading time. <laughs> so even if I wanted to play this version of Choaniki on my Vita, I couldn't, at least not at the time of this video. I think people are expecting it to eventually become compatible with PlayStation 1 games, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> anyway, I didn't really plan on showing you play gameplay of uh, Choaniki as much as just to talk a little bit about the PSP Go, and <laughs> and that's really it. So maybe give it a second second look, uh, or maybe not, I don't really care, it's not an advertisement. I just wanted to make sure that people know that there are some pretty cool things that this can do that uh, at least the Vita can't, and also the PlayStation, the regular PSP, can't use a controller, only this one can. So, that's all I wanted to say, and that's perfect timing. Thanks for watching.